We spend a lot of time cultivating relationships with others that sometimes we forget about the most important relationship of all, the one we have with ourselves. You are the person you're guaranteed to spend the rest of your life with. You can't run away from yourself. You can't hide from you. So why not take the time to get to know who you are and cultivate this relationship with yourself? In this video, I want to share some ways you can start to get to know yourself better and feel more confident about who you are and what you want in life. I've been on a self-discovery journey and I think I will always be on a self-discovery journey. Getting to know yourself is a lifelong process. As humans, we're constantly changing. Who I am today will be different from who I am one year from now, or five or ten. Sometimes I look back to even just one week ago and I'm amazed at how differently I see a particular situation or life in general. And something that always helps me stay in touch with who I currently am is journaling for self-reflection. Self-reflection is taking the time to think about our thoughts, our dreams, our values, why we do what we do. It's diving deeper and really questioning ourselves. I like to think of it like going on a date with myself. When you go on a date with someone, you typically ask questions, right? You're trying to get to know this person, what they're like, what they're into. And this is exactly what you do when you journal for self-reflection. A simple journal prompt like, what does your ideal day look like? can lead me to discovering more about what I value, what I enjoy doing, who and what is truly important to me. This is actually how I've been able to create things like my morning or my night routine. Once you start getting to know yourself, you start living more aligned with what matters to you and you start creating the life you want. I think using self-discovery tools is a really fun way to get to know more about yourself, especially in the beginning when you're feeling kind of lost and you really don't know where to start. When I started this self-discovery journey, I had no idea who I was or what I liked. If you asked me what my favorite color was, I would either pick a random color or say things like, mm, I don't really have one. But the truth was, I really didn't know myself enough to know I actually had a preference. Using these kinds of tools helped narrow things down for me and learn more about myself. Some self-discovery tools that I have found very helpful are the Myers-Briggs test, taking a dosha quiz, looking at my birth chart and my numerology chart, there are so many tools and resources available, and each one has helped me understand more about my purpose in life, my personality, my tendencies, my strengths, and my weaknesses. Something I will say though, is every time I use tools like these, I take the information with a grain of salt. I like to leave a little bit of doubt, and I don't take anything as the absolute truth. I take what resonates with me, what I find helpful, and leave what doesn't. But using these tools as a guide have definitely been very helpful in my journey. Another way to get to know yourself more is by getting out of your comfort zone and trying new things. Many times we think getting out of our comfort zone means doing something really scary, like jumping out of a plane. And yes, that can definitely be a way of trying something new, but it doesn't always have to be so big. It can be as simple as visiting a new restaurant, exploring a new hobby, or trying a different form of exercise. The only way to know if you like something or not is by actually trying it. A few years ago, I got in the habit of listening to random playlists on Spotify, which led me to realize I like this certain type of music that I never thought I would like. And thanks to this, I found some of my favorite songs that I now have on repeat. 
but I never would have figured this out had I not stepped out of my comfort zone and tried something different. So this is just a very small example of things that we could potentially be missing out on by not trying new things. Actively seeking out new experiences can help us discover what lights us up, where we find joy, or what our strengths and weaknesses are. And sometimes these things can even lead us to discovering our true passion. Another way I've gotten to know myself more is by analyzing my belongings and decluttering. A few years ago, I read the book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, which I highly recommend reading if you haven't already. It's a really amazing book. And it really inspired me to do a major declutter in my life. I went through absolutely everything I owned and I asked Marie Kondo's famous question, does this spark joy? This really forced me to define what I liked and what I didn't. This is how I discovered what my style was when it comes to clothes. I learned I valued books on spirituality more than any other topic. I discovered I really prefer neutral colors when it comes to makeup. And these are just a few examples of things I learned about myself by simply going through everything I owned. I recently did a video on my decluttering routine, so if this is something that interests you, I will provide a link below. Getting to know yourself is a beautiful journey that ultimately leads to self-love. Very similar to how a romantic relationship works, as you get to know yourself more, you learn to love and accept yourself for who you are. You begin to embrace all the things that make you unique, and as a result, you show up in the world with greater confidence. One of my favorite quotes is, listen to silence, it has so much to say. And I couldn't agree more. A great way to learn more about yourself is by practicing silence. This used to be very challenging for me. I had a lot of mental chatter going on. I was always thinking about the past or the future. And to avoid listening to my own thoughts, I would listen to other things, something, Anything was better than being left alone with my thoughts and my emotions. But this is precisely what helps us understand and connect with ourselves on a deeper level. I practice silence through meditation. I disconnect from the outer world and I connect with my inner world. During meditation, I've discovered more about my fears, my doubts, my insecurities, and I've learned to observe my thoughts and feelings, see what I have going on, and what it is that I currently need. It's kind of like checking in on a friend and asking how they're doing. And if we do this for others, why wouldn't we do this with ourselves? I hope this video has inspired you to get to know yourself better and start your own journey of self-discovery. I promise you're so worth getting to know. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone you know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.